Hello. Having a clean and hygienic house is very important for me too, just like you. Yet I know that we also have something highly special in common with you. Aura RoboClean. This is the reason we're here today, together. As an experienced Aura RoboClean owner, I wanted to talk to you and share my knowledge with you, so you can use your machine more comfortably and safely. Although it gives the impression of being a vacuum cleaner, actually Aura RoboClean is a cleaning robot which performs the duties of five different machines in a single machine body. As you know, this machine is an air freshener, also a vacuum cleaner, and also an electro nozzle. Furthermore, it makes our home fragrant. In other words, it sweeps away the bad smells and brings the sweet and refreshing smells of a spring garden into your home. Of course, there's also the vacuuming feature. It sucks the air from your cushions and pillows and decontaminates them. It cleans thoroughly the carpets and the armchairs, as well as the beds and pillows, and makes them shining with cleanliness without ever fading their color. Does the kid's seabed need to be inflated? Is your sink plugged? It manages to do them all, bless it. A machine which does all of these things on its own, of course, has so many tools. At first sight, trust me, I was also a little bit confused, just like you. Yet in time, I understood that actually it's not as difficult as it seems. As I've mentioned before, my aim, as an experienced Aura RoboClean user, is to help you ladies. But first of all, you'll watch a VCD film, a very brief one. I don't think you'll really like it. I mean, you won't watch it with a smile on your face, but I'm sure the information in this movie will really attract your attention as much as mine. Moreover, I'm sure you'll encounter truths you've never seen or heard before, and you're going to understand once again how right your decision to have an Aura RoboClean is. The movie is most about the dust monsters. I gave them that name. Their real name is Acarus. People call them mites. There are also pollens and funguses, which are at least as harmful as they are. All these are living things which live in our homes together with us, but we can never see them with the naked eye. The reason why I shortened it to dust monsters is because they live in dust modes, and when observed by microscopic equipment, they're disgusting enough to make you feel frightened and sick. It's not only their appearance which is disgusting, the really annoying thing is their negative effects on our health. Since we are not able to see them with the naked eye, we cannot see mites either. No matter how clean a house seems, these living things which do exist in every other house used to exist in my own home in the past too. I mean, until I got myself an Aura RoboClean. Now, if you wish, let us start with the VCD and together learn about these living things, what they look like, where and how they live. In addition to this, of course, let us learn the risks they pose for our health. What is a house dust acarus? That is, what is a mite? Where does it exist? Within house dust, the most important living thing which affects health negatively is the dust acarus, the so-called dermatophagidus. These living organisms can't be seen by the naked eye. They can only be observed by an electron microscope, and their appearance is much like a spider's. In one gram of dust, between 1,000 1,500 live mites and 250,000 mite feces exist. 7,000 mites may fit on a fingernail. Their main source of nourishment is flakes of human skin. They're defined as the primary cause of asthma and allergic diseases. They like hot and moist places. Places where they mostly exist are beds, couches, carpets, pillows and quilts, fabric and goods with fibers. There are more than two million mites in a standard bed. A mite produces feces 200 times its own weight. Those feces dry in time and mix with the air we breathe, and this is the most dangerous situation. Besides allergic people, in-house acarus may also harm healthy people who aren't allergic to dust and similar things. Especially because they're viscous, the mite feces accumulate inside the lungs and cause flu, cold, respiration defects and asthma. 
The USA Allergic Specialists Association clarified that 50% of these entire diseases appear or the existing diseases become more intense because of the dense air pollution and dust that exist in homes and offices. What are the dangerous allergens which exist in houses and can't be seen by the naked eye? Pollens. They are the round or egg-shaped breeding cells which are approximately 2 to 50 microns in diameter and are needed for the plants to be fertilized. Not all of the pollens cause allergies. There are 10 to 20 pollen grains in one cubic meter of air. They cause allergic rhinitis, allergic conjunctivitis, allergic asthma and acute urticaria diseases. Small ones are spread by wind, while the bigger ones are spread by insects. Fungus spores. Funguses produce spores that have allergic effects. These living things, which can't be seen by the naked eye, are smaller than pollens and they may exist in houses as they exist in nature. They live in humid places where the sunlight doesn't reach and they make allergic people feel ill during the whole year. I can hear you saying, I can't sleep in that bed again. But don't worry, because from now on, you have an Aura RoboClean, just like me. You'll be able to cleanse your beds of these monsters, lie down on couches with complete peace and comfort, get rid of your pet's hairs, and when your children play on the carpet, you won't be anxious about them becoming contaminated with germs. With our AeroboClean, you're going to have a real cleaning in your home and get rid of both seen and unseen dust. Of course, you're also going to get rid of those dust monsters living inside the dust. As far as you're concerned, how is real cleaning performed? With water, of course. I mean, the water in nature. Think about it. After the rain, when we go out for a walk, what's the weather like? Brightly shining, spotlessly clean, and smells wonderful, doesn't it? Because the raindrops hold all of the dust in the air and bring it down to the ground. Rain, wind, and other natural events keep the air clean at all times. We can do the same thing in our homes with our RoboClean. I mean, we can wash the air in our home with water because it's the only way to get rid of the dust and invisible house organisms that live in that dust. From now on, we can clean your furniture and possessions by the same method. Because the most important feature of the Aura RoboClean is this. It imprisons the germs and dust in water. This is our water basin. And this is the part called the separator. Separator means the decomposer, the analyzer. Its job is to imprison the dust, dirt and whatever exists in the air and on our belongings in this basin which is filled with water. Our first job is to fill that basin with water. We'll fill the water to the top of the post located in the centre. No less, no more. Just like that. will flow in from this hole, pass through the water and be thrown out purely clear and clean. In this way, the dust which exists in the air that we breathe will be accumulated in the Aura Robo Cleans water basin and the air of your house will be spotlessly clean. Thanks to these special perfumes which you'll place at the airflow intake of the machine, pleasant fragrances will be all over your house. In other words, you won't have to purchase room sprays anymore. Yesterday, I read in the newspaper that the fragrance chemicals in perfumed room sprays mix with the air directly. This is a very dangerous thing, for sure. Because sprays can easily hold on to the dust particles in the air, and when we breathe in this air, this may well get into our lungs. However, when deodorizing the air with our AeroboClean, the chemicals remain absolutely in the water. In other words, water partly functions as a filter. What's more, thanks to our AeroboClean, as there's no dust left in the air we breathe, it does not constitute any hazard for our health either, like the room sprays. Because of this feature, you can freely use these perfumes even in your children's rooms. 
Whilst talking about smells, with our AeroboClean, you can eliminate the smell of food and frying which spreads through your home from the kitchen. Just operate the Our Aroba Clean in your kitchen, as I'll show you in a little while. The cooking oil smell will completely pass through the water in the basin and be imprisoned in it. We can't get rid of the dust and the dust monsters in the house that we've watched in the movie just by cleaning the air, because dust mites are like mosquitoes. Holding a fly swatter and killing one fly each day is not a solution. You should exterminate the source of the mosquito. In other words, the swamp. Dust mites are just like this. With our every movement, the dust in the house will be stirred up from the carpets on the floor, the armchairs and sofas we're sitting on, and mix with the air. Yes, the carpets, sofas, beds and cushions. Here, these are the main dust swamps in houses. But our RoboClean is the perfect tool to exterminate this swamp because thanks to its vacuum ability, it imprisons the dust in the water and the problem is solved at the source. This is one of the properties of our RoboClean, which I utilize the most. That is the vacuuming. I put pillows, cushions in their special bags and vacuum them. By this way, I purify them of those dust monsters which are inside. I suggest you start the fragrance function as well during vacuuming. In order to do so, you just pick up a fragrance and put it at the airflow intake of the machine. By this way, things not only get clean, but also smell wonderfully pleasant. What's more, vacuuming process makes the work of housewives much easier before or after long holidays. Once you use it, I'm sure that you'll understand what I mean and be satisfied with a vacuuming cleanliness as much as I am. We're going to use the electronic nozzle groups for beds, armchairs and sofas because we all need a real and thorough cleaning in the places we live. We now know that invisible acarus, pollens, fungus, and many other things are threatening our health. These living things are the most important reasons for allergies that appear with complaints such as sneezing, coughing, eye-watering, and itching. And this is the single way to purify the things we always use, such as beds, sofas, carpets, and these things. You will be able to get rid of the dust swamps in your house easily just like me too and own a spotlessly clean home. Now watch me carefully because first of all we must know our machine and its apparatus bit by bit. I'll explain to you the things to be paid attention to while using our machine and which part is used for what one by one. Are you ready? First of all, let's see the water filling process into the basin. Firstly, let's release the two clamps at both sides of the Aura RoboClean and separate the main body from the water basin. Then let's fill the water basin with clean water to the top of the post located in the center of the basin. The correct amount of water to be used is approximately 1.5 liters. However, we should ensure the water is not below or above the post. After that, put the full basin into the extra basin and put it on the dolly. And finally, we lock the clamps with the main body. And now, let's see the insertion and removal of the hose into the main body. By this way, we're also going to see how the air filtering process that I've just mentioned takes place. We now know that cleaning the air is as important as cleaning the other parts. It is cleaning the visible dust in your home. And maybe even more important, because what we aim for is to live in a house which does not seem clean, but one which is surely and truly clean. First we lift up the socket cover located on the body to insert the hose into the main body. Then we make sure the locking head, located at the edge of the suction hose, is placed fully in a way that the locks and plugs meet one another. During this process, don't forget to check the locking procedure by pulling the hose slightly. After learning how to start up the device, 
Now we're ready to perform the air filtering process because we've learnt the first and the foremost information we needed for that. Speaking of the hose, let's see how to insert it from the body. We press the clamps on both sides of the hose adapter for this. Then we need to pull the hose in the same direction towards our body. That's it. Now let's get to know the other cleaning apparatus. Together let's see how they're installed and used. The one you see is the daily sweeping apparatus. It's used for daily sweeping of carpets, rugs and hard, rough floors. We can easily perform the brush adjustment by pressing the clamp on the apparatus. And this is our armchair, sofa, upholstery cleaning apparatus. As you can understand from its name, we use this apparatus for cleaning fabric surfaces such as armchairs and sofas. Thanks to its special opening structure, it never wears out fabrics, don't worry. The name of this apparatus is the round brush. It's designed for you to use for delicate cleaning procedures. We can easily clean our natural and artificial flowers, curtains, drawings and even clothes with this brush. This tool is highly important for every woman. It's called crevice brush. It's highly convenient in cleaning the places which are hard to reach, such as the spaces between central heating radiators and window edges. Our cleaning tools are not finished yet. Next, we have the crevice cleaning apparatus. This apparatus is especially designed for cleaning the joints of armchairs and sofas. Once you use it, you'll see how it eases your work. This is the under wardrobe cleaning tube. It's designed for cleaning places which are unreachable, impossible to reach, such as the places behind cupboards, wardrobes and the radiators. As for its usage, first we insert the number 16 inflating vacuuming tip into the steel tube. And then we can start the procedure by inserting the under wardrobe cleaning tube into the special hole located on the rim of this edge. I've just mentioned about the fragrance pack. We can easily use these tools during the vacuuming process to provide a pleasant smell for your things in the home or during the air filtering process of the house to change the overall air of your home. To start the fragrance function, first let's pick up a specific fragrance and then we place that fragrance bottle at the air intake located at the body of the Aura RoboClean. After that, we start the motor. You'll experience the excellent fragrance spreading all over your room. There is also a keyboard cleaning apparatus among Aura RoboClean's apparatus, which offers you numerous practical cleaning options. We can clean keyboards and electronic tools with this special tool. We can use the same tool for inflating procedures. For this, we need to insert the hose into the air exhaust panel hole located on the body. As this hole blows out air instead of sucking air in, you can easily inflate things such as your children's sea ball and seabed. To show you the vacuum bag once again. As I've just mentioned, this is one of the apparatus that I use the most. As you can see, by putting things such as pillows, quilts, etc., whose interior parts we cannot clean, into this special bag, we do the vacuuming. Not only is it unbelievably practical, but also highly functional. Now is the time for the electronic nozzle group. If you're ready, let us see how to install the electronic nozzle group and how to use it. First, we change the water that we put in the basin. The more frequently we do this, the healthier results we get. 
The first thing we'll do while installing the electronic nozzle group is to insert the stainless telescopic tube to the stainless adapter located at the edge of the suction hose. This small notch is called the locking pin. If the locking pin gets in its place like this, it means you've inserted the telescopic tube right. The second step is to insert the other side of the stainless telescopic tube to the joint part of the electronic nozzle in a way that it may function again as a locking pin. Then we affix the single channel cuffs to the metal tube with equal distances from each other in a way that they may hold the electronic nozzle cable. We can also adjust the length of the metal tube if needed. For this we need to push the button located at the center of the tube in the arrow direction. In this way, we can set the lower part of the tube at any length. Finally, we should fasten the electro nozzle cable to the double socket groove which is located below the handle arm, just like that. Connections are completed. Now let's connect the power cord to the outlet and turn the switch on the body to the one position. If we want to operate the machine from the body control panel, firstly operate the main motor by pressing the button. By holding the button until the five LED lamp is on, we can bring the main motor revolve to the maximum position. We can use the same button to stop the main motor. Then operate the electro nozzle by pressing the button. We need to use the off button when we want to stop the motor. If we want to operate the device from the handle control panel, firstly start the motor by pressing the on button. We can bring the motor's revolutions to maximum by pressing the plus button and decrease it by pressing the minus button. After that, Start the electro nozzle by pressing the button. Press the same button when you want to stop it. If the carpet fringes or rope winds and causes the motor to stop during the electro nozzle process, after cleaning the roller brush, pressing the on off button will reset the machine and make it start again, right from the beginning. We've learned how to use the electro nozzle. Now let's see once more where and how we can use it. We've seen how to use our device in detail, yet there's another important thing that we need to learn as well. The electrical cord. Indeed, I'm sure that you already know how to use it. No matter how easy it seems, I find it useful to show you in practice so that you'll not run into any trouble. For whichever purpose we want to use our device, we need electricity. In other words, we always need the electrical cord. For this, first of all, we need to take the electrical cord out of its slot by pulling it gently. Then we adjust the cord to a desired length and release it. The reason for this is to prevent the cord from being pulled back into its slot. Now we can plug the cord into the socket and start cleaning. When we want the electrical cord back in its slot, it's enough just to pull and release the cord. That's it. But in the meantime, for the cord not to be damaged, we don't let the cord off. We wait until it goes safely back into its slot. Also, we certainly do not let the children play with the electrical cord. What about the things we should do after cleaning is completed? Now let's see them step by step. The first thing we do once we finish the cleaning is to switch the 01 key located on the body to the zero position and then unplug the cord from the socket. By the way, during the cleaning and after cleaning, you should put your left foot on the electro nozzle and ensure the tube remains in the upright position by pushing the metal tube forward. We finished cleaning, yet there's something more to do, because there's also the cleaning of the device itself. We never forget to prepare it for the next cleaning and place it in that way. Yes. 
This means that now is the time for the maintenance and cleaning of Aura RoboClean. We do not forget to unplug the feeding cord plug from the socket before starting the maintenance and cleaning procedures. First, let's see the emptying and cleaning procedure of the basin. I've suggested that you empty the basin and fill it with clean water as much as possible during cleaning. We do this after the cleaning as well as during it. First, by releasing the clamps that you can see here, we separate the body from the basin. Then we pour out the dirty water in the basin. We throw out heavy and foreign materials that are left in the bottom of the basin by placing them in a plastic bag. After rinsing the basin a few times with water and cleaning the interior part as well, we dry the basin and replace it. And now let's see how to clean the separator. We should absolutely remove and clean the separator with every three uses on average. For this, first of all remove the brush from its slot on the body. Remove the separator and clean inside and out with soap and water with the separator cleaning brush. And then dry and put it back. Tighten the nut to hold the flat rim of the separator using its special wrench and put the separator brush back into its place. Finally, let's see how to replace the pollen filter. We need to replace the supplied pollen filter with an auxiliary pollen filter after using it for five or six months. The first auxiliary pollen filter is supplied with the machine. For this reason, you don't have to buy a new one. It's enough for you to make the next filter replacement after two years. Then it's recommended that you change your pollen filter every two years. When replacing our filter, first remove the two screws on the body, then put the new pollen filter in place and screw again. As you see, using Aura RoboClean is not difficult. All that's needed is to know our machine thoroughly and read the information in the user manual carefully. And of course, pay attention to the safety warnings as much as possible. I hope that I've been useful for you and wish you a clean and healthy life with Aura RoboClean. Goodbye. <laughs>